This is the Norcast Weather Channel. Brought to you by Johnson's Appliances and Bedding, a third generation family owned and operated business located in Ocean City and Wildwood, New Jersey. Check us out in store or visit us online at johnsonsappliances.net. Good early Tuesday morning. Meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. Nor'easter Nick does have the day off. Temperatures dipping back just a bit as we head into the northeastern quadrant of the country, mainly in the low to mid 30s out there. So if you're heading on out with any kind of early plans, maybe you're heading to the bus stop and for an early commute, definitely need to bundle up as we are chilly across the region itself. Main reason why we still have that north to northwesterly flow out there. Not as strong as it was yesterday, especially in the afternoon. We saw wind gusts near 30 miles per hour. But look at these temperatures waking up, going out the door. 29 in Doylestown, 32 at the state capitol. You take that 195 corridor eastward towards Asbury Park, it's 40 degrees, 34 in Chalmers River, a pair of threes in Hamilton, and a pair of threes right now in Mays Landing. So definitely a chilly start to our day out there, but the good news is we should rebound nicely as we head towards the afternoon. Take a look now for the dew point. Not much out there in terms of the dew points here. Very dry air in place thanks to a north to northwesterly flow, but we'll start to see these rise just a bit, I think, as we head later on into tonight, on into tomorrow and throughout the day as we do have some rainfall on the horizon for us as we head into most of the day for tomorrow. As the commute head out there, you might have to pull up the car and to the bus stop, but overall, once you're on the roads themselves, looking fantastic, dry conditions, again, just chilly out there, unfortunately, across the region. Future cast, we'll start to see those clouds thin out just a bit as we head through the rest of this morning. We'll see some sunshine this morning mixing with some clouds, and it will continue to be case as we head into early afternoon before the cloud cover then takes over, thanks to a warm front that's pushing up into the northeastern part of our country, and therefore, those clouds will stick around with us as we head into overnight tonight. On into tomorrow and on uh, pave its way for those showers that begin to push in here. Looks like as we head into midday tomorrow and then we'll start to see another round push through here as the cold front approaches as we head into tomorrow evening into very early Thursday morning before it moves on out of here and brings our temperatures back down to well below normal for this time of year. But not for today. We're seasonable. 50 degrees will do it. That wind will switch, uh, uh, switch out of the south to southwest, making it feel that much more comfortable out there with sunshine, and the clouds will push in, as I mentioned before, as we head into the later afternoon on into the evening hours itself. Seven-day forecast. We see rain on Wednesday for tomorrow. That's because of that approaching cold front that will come in here. Look what it does to our temperatures by the end of the week, though. Low to mid 40s with a strong northwesterly wind moderating just a bit as we head into the weekend. Have a great day, everybody.